Hey guys, so what is Thrivehood, you might ask? Well, that's a good question. I'd say it's a relevant life roadmap for young men out there who want to thrive as they're maturing boldly into manhood. From the very serious to the silly, I chat about a wide variety of relatable topics that both challenge and motivate you to do what needs to be done now so you can become who you want to be later. I'm Tim Williams, and this is Thrivehood. My wife and I met at the same company. This was back in the late 90s, mid to late 90s. And I want to share with you a quick story of something that's very relatable as we're talking about sense of humor and the importance of that for men to show that. We hadn't even started dating yet. I think we my memory serves me right. My wife and I, at the time, we had just seen each other at the mail room and had said pleasantries. Hi, how are you? And so I was just sort of getting to know her. I had just ended an, a relationship. I was engaged, but I had ended that relationship a few months prior to, to even really talking to her. And I had some items. I think I had a bed and I had a, I think maybe a TV. I was selling one or two items, two or three items. And so there's a place in the mailroom, sort of what they call the hub there at the company I was working at, where you can post different things. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll put it there that I'm, I'm selling this bed and I'm selling this TV. So as the doofus and the, and the, the numb nut that I am and the off the wall kind of humor that I have, I listed those two items, and then the third item I listed was one slightly used white sock for sale for, I think it was like a dollar ninety-seven. I was just being stupid. I was just like, hey, I'll just be humorous, and I'll just throw that up there. Well, several months after that, that had taken place, I sold my stuff, and I pulled that sign down, threw it away. Well, between the time that I posted that sign and threw it away, I would gotten to know my wife, uh, we went out on a few dates and we were talking and she brought up something. She said, you know, she said something that attracted me to you was that sign that you had up in the mailroom when you were selling your stuff. And she said, and you put on there that you were selling your sock. And she said, two things hit me. She said, number one is, wow, he's really confident in willing to do something like that. Because she's like, I'd never do anything silly like that. And then secondly, she says, and he has a sense of humor, how attractive that was. And today I want to just share just a few reasons why it would be good for you to add sense of humor to your arsenal of growing up to be the best version of yourself. There was a survey that was done not too long ago. In a Men's Health magazine survey of more than a 1,000 American women ages 21 to 54, 77% of women ranked a sense of humor as their number one must-have in a man, beating out intelligence, passion, confidence, and generosity. So if you are thinking, what should I add to my abilities to get a girl to look my way, I'm going to tell you, a sense of humor seems to go a long way. And listen, if you've already got that in your arsenal, fantastic. Keep using it. And guys, look, I just got to tell you, I'm just going to speak a truth here for just a minute. Us guys, I'm going to be honest, we're a little surfacy about things. And one of those is relationships, at least in the beginning. And the number one thing for us is, is she good looking, okay? Is she a hot babe? Come on, I'm speaking truth right here. I really am. That's true. That's true. When we're younger, we don't quite get all of the reasons that why substance is important. It's just true. And look, it's partly the way we're made. I really do believe that. But we're attracted to attractive ladies, girls, women. It's true. It really is. However, thank goodness that the women out there, the girls and the ladies, they look for depth. Yeah, you got to be a halfway decent looking. But if you have a sense of humor, if you're providing some basic qualities that they find attractive, 
you will win a girl over. It is absolutely true. You don't have to be the best looking guy in the class, okay? You really don't. And if you can add this ability of having a sense of humor and it being natural, I'm telling you, women, ladies, girls, they're attracted to that. Why? They find funny men attractive. They really do. The, the surveys and the research says that a young lady, a girl, a woman, when they're talking with a man or a young man and they're getting to know him and he begins to provide a sense of humor, is funny, maybe wacky, quick witted, whatever way he presents humor, they immediately go, wow, that's very attractive. And they find you attractive. Also, humor is perceived as an indicator of intelligence. The key word there is per, it's perceived, right? You can perceive, you can present yourself as somewhat of an intelligent individual to a lady when you're funny, when you are able to spread a little humor around. Women also find, which is something that goes back to what my wife said, they find a confidence, and some women find a confidence in your humor. Well, what does that mean, confidence? You're willing to put your neck out on the line. You're willing to say stuff. You're willing to speak your mind. You're willing to kind of go out there on the mat and, and be silly. And there are a number of people that would never say a word. They're sort of pull back and they're a little introverts and, and then they're, they're not going to put themselves out there too far. And so understand that a sense of humor is important. Now, let me stop here and let me say something. It sounds like I'm slamming on maybe some of you young men that are introverts or ambiverts and you're not, you don't, you don't feel comfortable with that. What I'm asking you to do is find your humor. I'm not asking you to be, you know, Jim Carrey, okay? I'm not asking, because we're not made the same. But you find your humor. The right person will come along. The right relationships will find their way to you when you add who you are into the mix of being humorous and providing that to the ladies. They will find that very, very attractive. And then lastly, humor, the ability to provide a sense of humor suggests to the ladies that life could be a little more happier and more fun with you. I think girls in general, they're already thinking down the road. They're already going, okay, where's this going to end up? And what is this relationship going to be like? And how are we going to communicate and connect and interact? And, you know, us guys, we're just like, hey, she's a good looking girl. <laughs> you know, come on, man. I'm calling it like it is. It's just where we are, right? Takes us a little time to get caught up with you ladies. That's just how it is. If everything's equal and you have two guys to choose from and everything's equal except one guy can really provide a sense of humor and a, and a lightheartedness to life, I can see me with him because if things go south in this relationship and there are hard times, we have a better shot of making it versus a guy that's negative, Danny Downer, is never smiles, is always... Looking at the glass half empty, wow, she's already thinking, holy crap, this is this is where we're starting. Remember, this is the starting point of the relationship. I don't know if it's going to get any better than this. And if we get into hard times, it's going to be worse. You see the difference there as a woman or a girl is measuring you up as to whether or not you could be a possible candidate for a relationship. Those things come into their mind. Understand that humor is important. Humor is good. Having a good sense of humor helps get through life. Find your humor. And until next time, guys, stay strong out there. This podcast is intended for informational and entertainment purposes only. Views and opinions expressed by guests are not necessarily those of the host. Please seek the advice of a trusted adult or qualified professional on matters specific to your needs. Thank you.